What is an alias in Rhino? Aliases run individual Rhino commands and can run scripts as well. Aliases can be typed into the command bar just like Rhino commands. They are often abbreviations of the commands that are used during a work session frequently. Let's go over how to set aliases in Rhino. Go to the Tools menu and select Options to open the Rhino Options panel. On the left hand side of the panel, select Aliases and you will then be able to see all the current active Rhino aliases and their corresponding commands. Add a new alias by clicking on the new button below the list of aliases. Go ahead and enter the alias and the command that it will correspond to. Continue to add as many aliases as you'd like. You can click directly on an alias if you'd like to change it. Once you are done adding your aliases, click OK. Now, let's test the new alias that you just added. I am testing the EG shortcut that stands for the duplicate edge command and you can see that this alias executed the command successfully. If you work with AutoCAD, you can import the shortcuts from AutoCAD into Rhino to stay consistent between both softwares. The AutoCAD command aliases can be directly downloaded from the McNeil Wiki website. In this page, you can also see the basic steps to install the file for both Windows and Mac operating systems. Click on the download button for your corresponding operating system. After your file has downloaded, open the file and unzip it to a safe location. Then open Rhino 3D to import the file you just downloaded. Go to the Tools menu and select Options to open the Rhino Options panel as before. Select Aliases from the left side Options panel and then click on the Import button. This will open the File Explorer. Go over to the location where you previously saved your downloaded file, select it and click Open. This will start the import process. If an alias already exists with the same shortcut that is being imported, you can select if you like to replace it or delete it. Once the import process is finished, a pop-up panel will appear listing how many aliases were successfully imported. Click OK to close it. You can then scroll through the list of aliases and you will see that the alias was imported correctly. Click OK when you're finished to close the options panel. Now we can test a newly imported alias. Use any of the aliases in your workspace to test them out. 